Hi, Norfolk Harbor Fest. I'm Captain Lauren Morgans from the Calmar Nickel. And we're really, really sad that we can't come and visit you this year. So we're going to try to bring a little bit of the Calmar Nickel to Norfolk right now, right here. Um, this winter, we worked on our ship's mermaids so that they would be all spruced up and looking great for Norfolk, which is the town of mermaids. But now that she's all repainted and beautiful, we need to take her back on board the ship and find her mounting spot. So if you want to come with us, we're going to walk around and see if we can find out where to put this mermaid. The Kalmar Nickel is a replica of a ship that carried Swedish settlers to the New World in 1638. One of the really cool things about ships of this period is they tended to have lots of elaborate decoration. So fancy paint, gold leaf, exciting carvings, those kinds of things were all signs of power and prosperity at the time. And that's why our ship has cool carvings like mermaids on board. So what do you think, mermaid? Let's go find your spot. Before we go, I want to introduce you to Jim. Jim's our chief mate on board the Calmar Nickel. And when you work in tall ships, you end up doing a lot of kind of strange jobs. Today, one of Jim's jobs is going to be mermaid transportation. Well, Mermaid, if you were an 18th century ship or a 19th century ship, you might be the figurehead and go right up here on the back. But, turns out, a replica ship from the early 17th century, like the Kalmar Nickel, would have had a lion for a figurehead. So I guess this is not your spot. Okay, mermaid, now we're in the forecastle. And this is an area in the bow of, or the forward part of the ship where we believe that the sailors lived, ate, slept when they crossed the Atlantic in the 1600s on the Kalmar Nickel. So maybe if you're not our figurehead, Maybe you can live in here and be with one of the sailors. Three sailors and a mermaid walk into a capstan bar. <laughs> this is our ship's capstan, and it's one of our simple machines that we have on board, which helps us to lift things that are really, really heavy. So the way that works is, we tie a piece of rope to something heavy that we want to lift. We wrap the other end of the rope around the capstan, and then we push the capstan around in a circle. The length of the bars gives us leverage, and the leverage kind of makes it work like a fishing reel. When we reel in the fish, that makes the heavy object get lifted up. So Mermaid, in order for you to help with this job, you're going to have to be pushing on this bar and walking around the capstan. Is that going to be a problem with your tail? So, as we've walked around, you probably noticed that there's no steering wheel on board the Calmar Nickel. And that's because they hadn't invented steering wheels yet in the 1600s when the Calmar Nickel sailed to the New World. So we steer with this thing, it's called a whip staff, and you push it back and forth like this, to make the ship turn, okay? So now, when you're steering down here, you'll notice it's pretty hard to see where you're going. So you don't have to worry about making those kinds of decisions. Somebody up there who can see better is gonna be yelling down commands. All you have to do is exactly what they tell you, okay? So you ready to take the helm? Okay. Well, Okay, mermaid, now we're up here on the quarter deck, and this is where I do a lot of my job. So as you can see from up here, we have a pretty good view looking forward of where the ship's going. I can see what most of the crew is doing, and they can hear me when I give commands and orders. I also have control of the engines from up here, which is really helpful for when we're docking the ship. 
and I have a radio so I can talk to other vessels in the area and we don't get into any close quarters situation. So what do you think, mermaid? You want to come up here with me and train up to be the captain someday? Well, mermaid, welcome to the Stern Gallery. This is a part of the Kalmarnickel that the public does not get to go to because you have to walk through my bedroom in order to get here. But if we take a look above our heads, you can see there's a whole lot of amazing carvings back here. It's really beautiful. The stern, or the back of the ship, is the place that had the most elaborate carvings, the fanciest decoration um, of any part of the ship in the 17th century. And you know, I'm looking above my head here, and I see a merman, and he looks a whole lot like you. So I think this might be your spot. Over here, I think. Yeah. 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 